I greet each one another in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I really thank God because God has given me good opportunity to preach rightly the wedding word of truth. This is good time to listen word of truth. My topic is how to preach rightly dividing word of truth. Timothy second book which is written by Paul to Timothy second book chapter 2 verse 15 study of show yourself approved unto God study of show yourself approved unto God first the man of God he should be worthful candidate he should be walk in dark in the, in the light he should not do sin he should not preach fables doctrine he, he has to know the sound doctrine unless if you don't know how to preach if you don't if he is not stay in sound doctrine if he preach he will he will perish not only he is whom he was preaching they will also die their sins so first man of god should be approved unto god approved means has to be worthful candidate you should not have sin you should not walk in sin he has he has pure heart he walks he should walk practical life he should love his neighbors and also he should love god with pure heart he should be approved unto god first he has good character if you don't have good character you cannot become a man of god you cannot preach very well if you want preach rightly rightly dividing word of truth you should be approved unto god second a workman that need not be ashamed you should not be ashamed to preach the gospel because of when you preach the truth when you preach the sound doctrine many will come to blame you and scold you and if you are if you have money or not doesn't matter but you should not be ashamed many are ashamed to hold the bible they have assistant and they 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 bring they take the bible and they walk even they are very ashamed to hold the bible but bible says a workman a workman means a man of god need not be ashamed rightly dividing word of truth man of god should not be ashamed to preach rightly dividing word of truth ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 in whom also you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after that you believed you were sealed with the holy spirit of promise bible says in whom also trusted after that you heard the word of truth word of truth can save you fables doctrine cannot save you stories cannot save you out of the bible cannot save you if they preach someone history cannot save you but word of truth can save you the gospel of your salvation salvation gospel of your salvation means salvation salvation comes through rightly dividing word of truth james chapter 1 verse 18 of his own will begot he, he was with the word of truth that he we should be a kind of first fruits of his creators God chose us according to his word of truth. We should be a kind of first fruits of his creator <coughs> through his word of truth. The word of truth means sound doctrine, not fables doctrine. If, if we preach word of truth, many are blamed me and scold me and they bother me, even they came to kill me, they came to bother me. And also they give backbite words when you preach rightly dividing word of truth. Because of apostles, they were, they were scattered every day. They were, they were bothered every day because of they proclaimed rightly dividing word of truth. When we preach, even apostle Paul says, if you go to Corinthians, we have to preach rightly dividing word of truth which was lent by me. Paul says to Timothy, don't preach another st stories. And Paul committed the 
sound doctrine to Timothy to preach rightly dividing word of truth. Peter, first book, chapter 4, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Bible says very clearly, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. If you are a Christian, you should not be ashamed. If you are a Christian, if you come from your generation, if you come from Gentiles, if you believe Jesus Christ, if you repentance, and if you be baptized, many will blame. Even your parents can blame you. But Bible says, let him not be ashamed. Jesus Christ said, if they don't believe me when I will come, I will be ashamed when I see that people, those who are unbelievers. If you don't believe Jesus Christ, if you are a Christian, if you are a true Christian, if you, if you are on sound doctrine, you should not be ashamed. Christian name written in the Bible three times. If any man suffer as a Christian, if you are a good Christian, you will be suffered. You, Bible never spoken, if you are a Christian, you will have very happy life, you will very joy, you will have joy life. You will have peace. Maybe you may have peace spiritually life. Physically, you can have a lot of suffering, lot of struggling, lot of bothering. People can bother you. If you are a good Christian, you cannot be very happy on the earth because of, we see in the Bible, apostles, how they were bothered, how they were betrayed, how they were beaten by Jews. For that in the Bible also, if, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. You should not be ashamed. Many are, they, they become Christian, they believe Jesus Christ. They, are, they were baptized, but they, they become backslide. They are very same to become a Christian, but Bible says should not be ashamed. But let him glorify God on this behalf. It's very really blessing to become a Christian. In many are in the world, if you are a Christian, they will blame you. This is very low caste. Christian means not low caste. This is high caste. Means king's family, royal family, chosen generation. Christian means chosen generation. When we were chosen, in the beginning of the foundation of the world, we were chosen by God. So Christian means chosen generation. You are chosen. So you should not be ashamed because you are a Christian. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God and salvation to everyone that believe. To the Jew first and to also to the Greek. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Because of Paul, he was arrested so many times. He went to prison. He was in prison and he was writing letters in prison. But he, he says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. He did not ashamed to preach the gospel because of when he proclaimed the gospel, Apostle Paul was arrested and he was bothered. He was beaten by his own people and they put him in prison. But he did not come out, but he, he, he always stand for the gospel. For that he did, even though Apostle Paul, he did not beg anyone. He did not ask money. And how he worked, he is a tent maker. He works on getting money and he survived himself and he helped someone. But he said, I did not get freely from anyone. But Bible says very clearly, even though if we preach sound doctrine, many will blame. I am bothered by so many false preachers because of I preach rightly dividing word of truth. I was persecuted. Even I was, I was cheated by someone, but I should not tell their names. How I was, I was bothered because of even Jesus Christ when he was when he was on the earth with the flesh, how he was bothered. But he did not open his mouth. They, they begged Jesus Christ, but he did not beat. But I, I don't want revenge, but God will revenge. 
but when we preach sound doctrine they will come to beat you who is your enemies not hindus not gentiles christian when you preach sound doctrine your enemies are christian when you preach the gospel gentiles will beat you if you preach sound doctrine christian will come to beat you if you preach the gospel gentiles will will come to beat you but for paul says for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ so paul how many times he was arrested how many times he was in prison he wrote two books to corinthians he said in the first book i was arrested i was in prison again he wrote second book and he said i was arrested i was in prison again he wrote galatians he said and he exposed his suffering how he was bothered how he was arrested how he was in prison and he wrote many books he wrote in prison in the in the book of hebrew when he was in prison when he is he was going his breath that last day he wrote that book in prison and he said timothy is going to release and i am going to leave the world that last book he wrote in prison but he, he said i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ everyone that believe to the jew first and to also the greek you should not be ashamed to believe jesus christ you should not be ashamed to follow jesus christ you should not be ashamed to read the bible you should not be ashamed to worship the living god but you should be ashamed because when you are walking in sin you should be ashamed because you are in sin when you are in sin you sh- you don't be ashamed but you, when you walk in the practical why should be ashamed should not be ashamed to walk practical life to believe jesus christ to confess your sins bible says very clearly salvation everyone that believe that to the jew first and also greek second scripture timothy second book chapter 1 verse 8 be not you therefore ashamed of the testimony of our lord nor of me is prisoner but you partaker of the application of the gospel according to the power of god paul says to timothy be not you therefore ashamed of the testimony of our lord you should not be ashamed to give testimony of the lord paul says to timothy wherever you go because i am arrested because of of gospel i am not be ashamed of the gospel of christ you also should not be ashamed of the gospel of christ you should give testimony of our lord jesus christ therefore ashamed of the testimony of our lord jesus christ nor of me is prisoner he says i am a prisoner how he said prisoner how he become a prisoner paul because he was preaching the gospel he was preaching sound doctrine how he was persecuted by jews how how many times he was arrested how many times he went to prison but he said i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ so scripture says very clearly a workman that need not be ashamed rightly dividing word of truth when you are in darkness darkness you should be ashamed you should not be ashamed to preach the, the rightly dividing word of truth thank you so much for watching rightly dividing word of truth may god richly bless you amen